about 900 farmers and their families' livelihood depend on the Gog irrigation scheme during the seven months dry season from November to May. After six months of research on the ground, conducting surveys, interviews and studying satellite imagery, IMI validated a water crisis at the scene. Whereas in normal years the dam stores water until the end of the dry season in April, this year the reservoir depleted in late January. When the dam dries up this early, farmers are unable to cultivate during a second cycle from February to May. This water scarcity results in economic hardship, hunger and conflict over water in the GOG irrigation scheme. The Ghana Agricultural Sector Investment Programme, GASIP, funded by the International Fund for Agricultural Development, IFAD, and the Government of Ghana, has engaged the International Water Management Institute, IUMI, to demonstrate and train farmers on site-specific water management innovative solutions that can make improvement on the efficiency of water use in the scheme. The IMI research team proposed three location-specific solutions to use the scarce water more efficiently and productively. Solution one was to save water by training farmers on the practice of informed irrigation scheduling. Two irrigation scheduling tools were introduced to, to aid the training and practice. The Chameleon Soil Moisture Sensors, CSMS, and the Wetting Font Detector, WFD. These help the farmer to know when to irrigate, how frequent and how much. IMI co-designed and set up 18 demo sites with farmers and agri-extension agents in farmers' own fields operated by the farmers under supervision of IMI researchers. Solution 2. Mulching the surface area on crops to reduce evaporation and conserve soil moisture content. This practice will allow water to remain longer in the soil and will reduce the frequency of irrigation, thus reducing the competition for water between farmers. The majority of the farmers here are women, although the upper part there, there are also men. They dig uh, ponds like this, you can see the ponds all over the place, and then they use buckets to lift water and spray on their crop. Solution 3. To reduce cost and labor, we trained farmers to lift water for irrigation using solar pumps instead of fuel pumps and bucket irrigation. The outcomes. Farmers learned they can irrigate less frequently, thereby reducing pumping cost and increasing revenue. The mulching conserved soil moisture and increased irrigation interval. The mobile solar water pump showed five times less labor cost for irrigating. Four farmers can purchase the pump together and rotate for equal usage. Mostly women were trained in the usage of the solar pump. This results in less water being used, lower labor and fuel costs, lower labor and fuel costs, and finally, less competition for water at the GOG irrigation scheme.